100% honest update review. This update had me feeling meh. Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kyra Simon. it is time to brawl. Now today I'm going to be giving you my 100% honest update review. I tend to do this after every single update, whether my thoughts are 100% positive or they're 100% negative. Usually they're somewhere in the middle there, and today is no exception. I'm going to do this video a little bit differently than I have in the past. I'll, mo typically what I do is I'll list off the positive things and I'll list off the negative things, but today uh, I think it fits a little bit more for me to just go through the recent changes in the most recent update and talk about what I felt about them individually really quickly, and then I'm gonna talk about what I thought was missing. First off, I'm really liking how much more smooth the gameplay is, okay? In the community roundtable, Ryan had mentioned that they were optimizing the shadow system, which uh, should make it easier on different devices. For the 3D models, okay, Daryl, Poco, Colton, Spike, it was cool. Um, they're more polished. Not really very many big changes to it. But I'm happy that they're doing that because that means that they're going to be able to release skins a little bit sooner. I am, I will say I am loving Sakura Spike. She's super cute. And I love the little anime like angry things that pop up over her head when she when she throws it out, throws out her attack. Um, Rico's redesign, I think it's funny that Supercell keeps on getting rid of hats. But I honestly don't really care about that very much. Except for when they took away Mortis's hat. That one hurt a little. Also, I think that the Thickache jokes were uh, really hilarious. I especially like the one where Rico went to his grandma's house for the update and then he came back as Thicko. Uh, that was funny. Uh, and for in my personal opinion though, I actually really love the Rico redesign. It's interesting because the, the way that they redesigned him kind of changed his backstory a little bit, okay? Because in the past he was considered a pool bot, like billiard, billiard, billiards or however you say that. Um, now it looks like he's a, a, a bouncing ball machine. And so he's, he's kind of having a little bit of an identity crisis, I guess. And I don't know if he really knows who he is anymore. But uh, that being said, I'm really glad that he's being well fed. As for the new skins, I am loving the new skins. I always love new skins. I can't wait for Valentine's Poco and for the Popcorn Rico to be released. As for the new voices, okay, Bo. Um, I love his new voice. People keep on commenting saying that he sounds like Hanzo and I have no idea who that is. I'm a really big fan of Brock's voiceover. I think it's super swaggy and my favorite line is, oh, Brock is lagging or something like that. Um, I was hoping for a mention of Chief Pat missing rockets, uh, but I'm uh, really happy with those lines. As for Mortis, I don't like it. I don't like Mortis's new voice. He sounds like Skeletor from He-Man, which I would, I can almost guarantee you that's what they were going for. Um, personally, I've always been annoyed with Skeletor's voice, and Mortis now sounds like a weakling rather than some creepy demon that haunts your nightmares. So that's unfortunate. I actually really prefer the voiceovers that Lex did in one of his videos for for Mortis than the current uh, Mortis. So, I, some people are like like his voice. I get that. I I really just think it's annoying. I, he could have been so cool. Now as for the new brawler, Gene. Well, I like Gene. Um, I like Genies, and I like that Gene's artwork looks similar to Terra's. Okay, my hands are tied. I can't really say anything about Gene, uh, but uh, more on that when I can actually show you some gameplay. I will say that I like that we're getting brawlers faster than we have in the past, at least before the game was released globally. Um, honestly though, I still don't think that it's enough. I mean, we got Leon in December, we're getting Gene in February, so that's like two months apart. So does that mean that we have to wait until April for the next brawler? I mean, personally, I would like to see brawlers twice as fast. I would like to see a brawler once every single month, okay? If I could have it my way, we would have a new brawler and we would have balance changes once every single month. And that would happen on every uh, two week season cycle. So every season we would have a brawler. Then two weeks later, we would have balance changes. Then two weeks later, we'd have another brawler. Then two weeks after that, we'd have balance changes and so on and so forth. That to me would keep the game feeling a lot more fresh, even when Brawl Stars isn't releasing uh, actual like new game modes or like content updates or club wars right now brawl stars only has 22 characters in the game and there is so much room for more brawlers okay because they, they just barely tapped into things especially where brawl stars characters only have three main attributes their attack 
their super, and their star power. Other than that, like, you deal with stats and stuff, and those can be different, but those three things, those are the only three things that make the Brawlers unique. And other MOBA games have, like, at least six or higher different characteristics that they have to put into it, so it makes it more difficult for them to actually have, like, unique characters. And Brawl Stars, they just... There's so much room for growth, and over this next year, I really would like to see a new brawler every single month. Maybe that's too much to ask. I'm not a game developer, but I am a player, and I know what I want. And that's more brawlers. There's some other quality of life things that I really like from this update. Matchmaking seems to be a lot more fair, especially since they recently just changed it uh, to include total trophies. Uh, they increase the token bar uh, from 100 to 200 so that you can actually get all of your tokens in uh, a 24 hour period rather than every 12 hours. This is such a nice change. Even though I'm only, even though I'm doing YouTube uh, full time, the vast majority of my day is actually spent writing scripts, editing videos, creating thumbnails, managing the actual business side of my channel. And so having the time to be able to collect all of my tokens in one sitting rather than having to do it split up into two different times uh, is a huge benefit for me. And I imagine that that's also, that's also a huge benefit for other players. So that is honestly, I thought that that's what they needed a long time ago. And I'm really excited about this change. I think the new attack animations are pretty cool. Uh, map changes. Honestly, one of my favorite things about Brawl Stars is seeing how changes to the map actually impacts the meta. That seriously is such a cool uh, thing that other games just like haven't really tapped into. They just focus a lot on character development or brawler or hero development or whatever you call them in other games, which is which is cool. That's what I want more of in Brawl Stars. But uh, I'm loving seeing these new maps. I mean, in the past, Bounty was basically Brock, Piper, and Penny on every single map with a few exceptions. And Heist was Bull, Colt, and a Thrower every single match. I will say that I do, um, I'm a little sad that they got rid of some of the maps. Like Bone Tunnel on Heist. That was seriously one of my favorite maps. And I would also like to see a map that still does have like some walls in front of the safe heist or the heist safe that would actually benefit like um, Colt over Rico or a thrower over like Daryl. Like I, I would like to see that still. Oh, and also like shooting star on bounty. I, I, I know that it was the same thing over and over again, but I actually really love that long range poking um, situation. I thought I thought it was super fun, but I do think this will lead to a little bit more of a diverse game. One thing that I've noticed is that Supercell seems to be paying a lot of attention to which maps people are playing the most, and it seems like they are getting rid of the ones that aren't being played very often, and then they're including new ones to try and find a good balance where all of the maps seem to be uh, really good for the game. I'm a big fan of the Brawl Ball rework. I know that a lot of people are not. At first, it felt like it was really slow and there were lots of draws. That was not fun, but since they actually decreased the spawn timer, I feel like it's been put in a very good place. It's a little sad to see Mortis not being as viable as he was, but he Mortis or in Brawl Ball specifically. But I'm, ex but I mean Mortis is super strong everywhere else, so like. I'm fine with that. It's He's actually a lot of fun to play now. I already talked about my opinions for of the balance changes in another video, but I uh, will give a quick rundown of some of my thoughts. I'm really glad that Supercell is actually buffing some of the star powers that were a little bit more lackluster. However, I do think that Mortises and Daryls may be a bit too strong and maybe need us as uh, well. I am surprised that Pam did not get a nerf because she's just been so strong for a long time. I'm glad that Leon got a nerf. I still think that it might, he might need a little bit more of a nerf. And I still think that Bo is a little bit too weak, but uh, other than that, like I'm really happy uh, with the changes. And I'm also really excited to see a very different meta now than we've ever seen in Brawl Stars' history. Also, it's really nice to see replays finally being added to the game. Uh, that's uh, That's been really, really cool. Although my guess is that that's why we've been having some bug crashes and stuff recently for, for the devices. If you still are having issues with crashes, uh, Supercell just barely released a, an optional update uh, yesterday or two days ago, depending on when you're watching this video. And you can just go into your app store and update the game to hopefully fix those issues. Now, overall, if you're watching at this point in the video, you probably realize that I'm generally happy with the things that they've added into the game. Um, I am a big fan of Brawl Stars and I really appreciate the work that the team actually puts into it. Sometimes it's actually really hard for me to believe that this is a mobile game that I can just play on my phone. That's really cool. If you would have told me that like 10 years ago, that I mean, my mind would have been blown. But if I'm being completely honest, like I said, this update just kind of had me feeling a little meh. And really it all comes down to the fact that this update really didn't feel like an update at all because it was lacking one big thing, actual new content. I mean, yeah, we got some new maps, um, some pretty sweet updates to the artwork for old brawlers, some quality of life changes. And we're also getting one new brawler, 
but the vast majority of this update really just felt like reworks or polish and on stuff that's already in the game. Now, I know that 99% of the player base um, is not probably feeling this way because the game just barely came out right now and they haven't explored nearly the depth that a player that beta players have like I have. But this video is not an honest review of what 99% of the players base feels like. It's a it's my honest review, so I'm going to share my personal thoughts. And if I'm being completely honest, I really feel like Brawl Stars needs new content soon for me. And it doesn't even need to be end game content that 99% of the players can't play right now because they're not an end game with every brawler max over 500 trophies. I'm just looking for something new that everyone can enjoy, okay? Did you know that the last time we got a new competitive game mode, if you're excluding Duo Showdown because it's just a rework of Showdown, was Brawl Ball, and that happened just a couple of months after the game was first initially released, basically a year and a half ago. Seriously though, I can't tell you how badly I am aching for a new competitive game mode to play. I mean, we've had Robo Rumble, we've had uh, Big Hunt, and we've had Robo Boss Fight, or whatever that's called, and uh, that's really fun, but like a competitive game mode. I'm really wanting more. <laughs> to me, this update really just felt like a bunch of catch up after the game was released globally with some quick fixes to the competitive scene before it was actually put out on uh, ESL for the World uh, Finals. And I really felt like Supercell released the game globally as quickly as they possibly could, despite not having all the Brawler's 3D artwork done or all the voices finished. And the sad thing to me is that there are still several Brawlers that do not have their artwork done. And that means more time that the artists have to spend putting time into catching up instead of actually spending thing, their time on the new content. And I'm fine with all of this, if, if they're just like catching up and doing some quick fixes, as long as this really is just a mini update. Typically, Supercell games have had um, a really big update every two to three months, sometimes even every four months. But if it's gonna be another three months before we actually get an update with new content, I'm gonna be really sad because I really love Brawl Stars, and the only reason why I am hoping for more is because I love Brawl Stars and I want more of it. Uh, <laughs> and I really don't want the hype of the global release of the game to slow down because of a lack of new content. Not only as a player, but also as a content creator. I mean, this is basically my livelihood now and it is largely dependent on the success of the game. Now, some quick final thoughts. I want everybody to know that I am not unhappy with the Brawl Stars team and what they've put into the game. They've done an absolutely amazing job in the past, and I think that they they have been putting their focus in the correct areas. The lack of actual new content with this update really comes down to the fact that Supercell works with having very small teams. That's what they call it. That's why they call it Supercell. Small cells of teams working on games without having to worry about the problems that come or the bureaucracy and red tape that comes with uh, working with a very large company. I really do think this is the simplest way to create the best games, but while having small teams uh, leads to the best games, having big teams leads to bigger content and more frequent content, even if that means having to deal with more red tape and bureaucracy. I mean. What I'm wanting is I'm wanting the best of the best from the small teams with the best of the best with from the big teams, and that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Once again, I know I'm only 1%, if even that, 99% of the players uh, have been playing only for a month or so, but just because I'm a minority as a beta player does not make my opinion any less important. If anything, it's actually very important as a future insight before more players actually do reach the point where I'm at. My hope is that Supercell will be able to release content updates more frequently so that new players never have to feel the way that I'm feeling. And then Brawl Stars really can become the best game ever invented. Anyways, guys, I'm super stoked for the future of Brawl Stars, and I'm confident that we will have something in the future. I just hope that we don't have to wait for too, for too long, and uh, if we do, that it will be worth the wait. I want to know what you thought about this update, so make sure you drop it in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Maybe you think that I'm just wrong and that this was the best update ever. Uh, feel free to put it in the comment section below. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.